Hello and welcome to another MMO Anthropology. I'm here in Dungeons and Dragons Online to talk to you all about the MMO gaming review community, MMO Hut, and MMOBomb.com, and Spunkify. Let's do this. By now, many in the free-to-play MMO gaming community will know about how Spunkify left the review site MMO Hut for MMOBomb.com. There's a bit of a dramatic backstory to that. You can read about it on Reddit. But that's not exactly what this video is about. For those who don't know, Spunkify outlines that MMO Hut had changed over time due to their slow merger with OnRPG and as a result, he felt that he didn't belong there any longer and subsequently found himself fired from his position. In the aftermath, he was offered a position at another site in the MMO gaming community, and that's where we are now. Now, why is all of this interesting? Well, as gamers, we should be aware of how our industry works. One of the ways that all media functions is in that it's all about gating off things of cultural value. You'll often hear the phrase IP, which is actually an easy acronym for the more boring phrase intellectual property. People use this to describe TV show and movie universes, video game worlds, and these often mix to a great extent. In a way, the there are producers and consumers, which I'm going to call for the sake of simplicity, authors and audience. Now, game authors want, and publishers want the audience to buy their product and the audience doesn't want to waste their time and money on something crappy. This is where MMO game review sites step in between these two. Every media culture has critics who act as sort of immune system against stupid. Or at least we hope they do. Here, let's hang out in this graveyard here. Whoop. So we have sites such as MMORPG.com, no thank you. GameOgre, MMOHut, MMOBomb.com, OnRPG, and their like who deliver content that comprises and contrasts games produced by game authors and publishers and tries to give their audience a knife to cut through the marketing hype, the shams, and other things used to draw people into games in order to help determine if something is garbage or golden. Game developers have a giant incentive to get in with these game review sites because audiences trust the reviewers more than they do the producers, in some cases for good reason. Uh, bad reputation, terrible games, bad customer service. This is because, in many cases also, reviewers have personalities that match or resonate with certain parts of the audience, and if the audience sees a particular bad review from someone they identify with, then they know they also probably won't like it. This power can be used for good or evil. The MMO gaming market is a very big money maker right now. It's, it's gigantic, in fact. We've seen that Sony just had a giant rise in revenue when they took DCUO free-to-play. There's numerous reasons to see that Blizzard is doing excellently with World of Warcraft. It's been dominating the market. It has 10 million subscribers all paying, and when they released their virtual item, the Sparkle Pony, it had a ridiculously high number of adopters, making them a boatload of money. And the online gaming market itself is a huge community. So as a result... Lots of people are rushing in to fill the niche of reviewers, of journalists, and marketers. So we're going to keep seeing shakeups, such as Spunkify leaving MMO Hut for MMO Bomb, 
and etc. We're even going to see big review sites probably implode on themselves and burn to the ground, while others will rise to dominance. So I'm wondering if you have a favorite MMO game review site. If you do, post it below and give us an opinion if you have about Spunkify leaving MMO Hut. If you liked him, if you disliked him, if you're interested in what he's going to be going on to. And personally, I wish Spunkify all the best at his new home, and hoping to see him continue to be part of our community. Meanwhile, farewell, good night, and good dreams. Thanks for coming by, everybody. If you got this far, hopefully I earned your like. I'm gonna kill these guys. Meanwhile, if you like what you've seen, be sure to subscribe to my channel, especially if you're interested in the aiming MMO gaming experience and the industry. Aha! And I'll see you all later!